Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. If you can hear that my voice is a bit different, well, it's because I'm actually sick. <laughs> so yes, before we dive down into what's new in Pokemon Cafe Mix, I do apologize beforehand that, you know, my voice is a bit different, my nose is stuffy. Yeah, I've been down with the flu, so I've been quarantined at home for the last few days, and yeah, finally I have a bit more energy, so let's get down to doing this video, and of course, taking a look at our new friend who is here returning once again to, well, brighten things up for the new year, especially for those of you who are brand new to the game. So yes, we are talking about our little monkey friend uh, out of the three starters, um, you know, that's from the Gala region, but before we dive into his return, let's take a look at what we have here. So apparently, the, yeah, the next raid event is Chansey, so it's our little chunky pink friend from the Pokemon Center, uh, taking a break with from Nurse Joy's work, you know, just to chill in the cafe with us. Yeah, so let's do our best to try and get Chansey Hopefully we get to get uh, Chansey to join us in this particular account, uh, unlike that uh, well, Christmas Lucario that we failed to obtain, uh, at least on this one. <laughs> My Nintendo Switch account, at least I do have it there. So it's kind of a bummer, but that's okay, because usually in the end, we don't end up using most of the event Pokemon anyway. It's just, it's just a nice way to complete the cafe decks, I guess? I mean, we don't really have a, a Pokedex, but... I guess, uh, maybe maybe let's call it the staff roster. <laughs> Alright, so let's dive in and take a look at our little grookey friend uh, who is coming in once again. So uh, yeah, hmm? what is that? I think I hear a groovy beat from somewhere. There we go. Our little green monkey friend looking all happy. I, I'm sure we don't really need to feed him. He's already happy by himself. <laughs> Alright, wow, the flowers and plants around the cafe are thriving. Oh, really? His music can make the plants grow? Wow. Perhaps the plants are enjoying Grookey's rhythmic beat. The fun rhythm is even making us happy. Grookey, thanks for the great beat. I think we can offer an even more splendid experience to our customers today. Let's thank Grookey for boosting our energy. Hope you enjoy our tasty offerings. Alright, so sadly to say, I can't really hear Gookie's beat. I was hoping that his music would help me heal faster. <laughs> oh, oh well, we're here to have a happy time. So let's start things off as usual with the party invites. Alright, let's refresh since the two of them are really fully maxed out. Uh, we do have Brizzle that needs to power up, so let's go with this. And of course, the fact that I don't want to spend more acorns to refresh. So yeah. Alright, so let's see, let's go with Wabafet as recommended, I mean, you can go with Munchlax if you prefer Munchlax, but who knows, maybe we might need Wabafet's skill to change most of the icons to a specific kind, so apparently we don't have to according to the mission requirements here on the site. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a lot of Wabafets, and of course let's try to get rid of all the caramels that are currently present. Okay, uh, Starly, there seems to be a lot of Starly, so let's gather around more Caramels, Wabafets going along. Okay, we might have to pay attention to the Egg Baskets as well, so that's going to be a problem if we don't um, clear the required amount. Lots of Wabafets, just hopefully we do clear all the caramels so it seems like one of them is still hiding so let's just make use of the icons to destroy okay there we go so having wabafet second skill that is if you power its um, skill up is handy dandy especially if we need to you know get a more skill icon Alright, so there it is, the last caramel that we need. Let's just gather it uh, around and we're done. Simple as that. So just just be careful with where the caramels may be hidden within the mayonnaise bubbles. And I think you should be fine. 
Alright. Okay, Buizo is up next. Ooh. Okay, so the cans are coated in bubbles, so that's a problem. Okay, let's get the Buizos on this side now so we can have the skill appear on this end. There we go. We definitely need to destroy the sugar cubes. That's actually more important. So we can have, you know, more area space to um, get all the icons available. Alright. Okay. Now let's set the space free. Okay, with this, let's let the icons drop. Alright. Oh, we do need to clear out the honey on this side, so that is going to be a problem. Okay, a lot of pink fellas. Snubbles. Let's clear all the honey. Okay, now that the honey is all cleared, let's get rid of a few of the cans. We do have a problem with like some of the cans being a bit away from each other. So that's going to be a problem. Oh, the skill didn't destroy the other one. Oh no. So yeah, we ended up being in a pinch. So the, the main thing about this level is as long as the... Oh, we do have to keep trying. Okay, so as long as the bubbles or rather the fruit cans are kind of lined up in a way that Breezo's skill can be easily used to destroy all of them, I think you should be fine. So I, I wasn't paying attention as you can tell. I am not feeling that well, so my mind isn't exactly at its 100% state. So let's gather our score, including the icon skill, and then just go ahead and destroy the last can. I mean, we could have grabbed the megaphone that was like idling at the top right just now, but the thing is the skill or the score, the score requirement won't be met, so might as well just gather a whole bunch of icons and get the skill out. Just to be sure. Alright, so now that the party is over, let's move on with the normal stages. So let's see, Weasel. Okay, let's go with Waba Fat. Hopefully, we can see our monkey friend soon. Alright, get all the Waba Fats. Make sure you coat the bubbles. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, popping the bubbles. Fantastic. Oh, it seems like one of the cans got destroyed by the placements of the other cans. So that's fantastic. Helping us shorten the trouble we're in. Alright, let's change the icons here to megaphones. Nice, 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 nice. That's fantastic. It did more than what I expected. Alright, a few of the tomato bottles are gone. So let's just go ahead and uh, change a few of the icons here. Hopefully it's more than enough to destroy the fruit cans. Apparently none of the fruit cans got destroyed. That's just horrible luck. Oh well. Alright, let's get this skill out once again. Technically, we could just use the megaphone and destroy stuff here. Um, we have more than enough moves, so that's fine. And of course, let's just guarantee the destruction of the tomato bottle, rather than you know relying on Wabafet's skill that you know uses RNG elements. Let's play safe. All right, not a very difficult level. So shouldn't you guys shouldn't have a problem with that stage as well. Sobo is still in the cafe, so I guess we won't see Sobo anymore. Alright, after this we'll be seeing our monkey friend. Mm -hmm. oh, lots of Lucario, so let's go with Lucario first. 
Alright, making sure we hit that egg basket as well. Okay. Seems like Executor really is a very hard skill to attain. Okay, it's better to use the skill now to destroy as many sugar cubes as possible. So we have a bit more space for icons. There we go. So let's get a gather Lucario. There's not enough Executor icons to go around. Lots of EV. Let's just get an EV. Making sure we hit the eight baskets as well. Okay, same thing as the other side. Let's destroy the sugar cubes. Oh, we missed one, but that's okay. We can just manually destroy it. I mean, the normal way. Let's wrap things around. Alright, then with this, we can destroy three pumpkins and the sugar cube, plus a bit of the eggs. Alright, let's gather. And make sure we cover more egg baskets and the last pumpkin with a megaphone. Simple as that. So as long as you get things destroyed in order, you should be fine. Um, we ended up doing it a bit slower because of you know accidental mishaps of not aligning the skill properly, but that's okay. Alright, oh totally he gets the friendship bonus. But if I'm not wrong, I think Togapi is fully maxed out, so Technically, it's just going to be um, adding stars towards Togepi's gift gauge, if that's what you want to call it. Alright, lots of chocolate. We do have a caramel or rather just honey situation, so that's going to be a problem. Let's destroy the honey first. Okay, let's get a lot of weasels. Okay, so the main problem here is that there's olives. We don't want the chocolates to be coated um, in olive oil. So let's try to focus our um, attention towards destroying the olives without the need of touching the chocolates. And of course, the honey situation as well. Okay, so let's try to destroy the chocolates first. There we go. At least now the olives are set free. Okay. Things are looking pretty decent. The problem here is that we can't um, we can't target the chocolates, so we do need the power weasel skill up. Um, and we're running out of moves, that's a problem, that's a really big problem. Oh no, this level is extremely difficult. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we have a problem here. Okay, we're gonna... Oh! Oh right, because of Togepi's friendship bonus. Oh no, okay, we're gonna go with 900, we're gonna try our best to clear this up. Um, we do need to uncoat the honey, so that's what we're going to do first because that is actually essential to our clearing of the level um, as long as it's touching. Oh, it's not touched. Oh no. Oh no, we are in trouble. Oh no. Oh no, we are in trouble. Okay, we are very big. <laughs> we are in a very big pinch right now. So definitely we are not able to clear. Oh no. Oh no. This is such an expensive retry. Just for the friendship bonus. Let's do it. Okay. Let's see. This is what happens when you're sick. Uh, you should have been playing puzzle games. <laughs> Your brain is not working 100%. Oh boy. Okay. Can we, can we destroy all three with just one megaphone? Uh, oh, we could have, we could have, but, you know, uh, just for the sake of convenience and, you know, not being at 100%, let's just go with the, the safe route. <laughs> okay, so, very expensive 3 stars, definitely not worth, but still, it's one of those very difficult stages, um, so I would highly recommend you guys to 
um, make use of your 900 acorns wisely. If it doesn't seem like you could clear the stage with three moves, um, do retry the stage with a hard use, and then of course, once it's at the point of factor, you know that you can clear the stage with just the 900 acorns. I think it should be fine. Or if you want to play around with the items that you are given plenty of, uh, just go ahead and make use of those as well. You we never know, maybe one or two items being used might actually help you clear the level a lot easily. Alright, so Gookki is finally here. Let's just offer him up some yummy food. Alright, for entertaining our guest. Okay. So Grookey is facing the same situation I had with uh, Fennekin, I think. Yeah, they're all level 1. Unlike our water friend, Sabo. Alright, so let's go ahead and surround the caramel bubbles. Of course, we definitely want to try and destroy the cheese as well because we need to set ourselves free. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and destroy this site first. Yeah, let's get the milk stuff mixed up. Okay, Pikachu bubbles. Here we go. And now for this side. There we go. So making sure that we destroy the sites that really matter the most because um, it will be a lot easier to have the mixable stuff, you know. Just go in together easily, making use of the cheese ball and of course the icon barricade as well. It's a fantastic, fantastic stage. Pretty fun. Simple, but yeah, a bit complicated at the same time. Okay. Alright, moving along. We need Plusle now. Oh, my nose. I apologize for the disgusting sounds that I'm producing with my flu. <laughs> Alright, so what can we do when one is sick, one is sick. Okay. There we go, all the marshmallows are mostly done. Okay, making sure we do hit the vegetable crates at the same time. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy all the marshmallows first before we decide to venture into getting you know, vegetables. We need the score as well. So there we go, the score is done. So let's gather the vegetables. Of course, we do need to gather a lot of the recommended Pokemon icons, so that's a problem. So let's just get rid of all the unnecessary icons first. There we go. Okay, we do need more icons and vegetables, so let's just destroy the veggies and turn all the icons to the ones we need, which is fantastic. Okay, there we go, so that's all we needed. And done! So barely cleared the stage with the amount of moves we uh, provided, but still, when what's done is done. Could have been ended on an earlier note, I guess, it's just that we weren't paying attention to what was the majority amount of skills on the board, but that's fine. We finish the stage, that's good. So yeah. Hope you guys are doing well though, because it's been raining non-stop since the year has started. Uh, at least on my end, so if it was cold enough, I guess probably Singapore could have rained. But then, still, we are a tropical island. So I don't think rain is going to be something that we will see anytime soon, unless it's like the end of the world. <laughs> Uh, but I would love to see rain one day. Okay, so let's just go ahead and destroy the um, popcorn stuff first while we're at it. Okay, let's set free the other popcorn kernels. Alright, lots of minums that we need, you know. Okay, we do need to um, get more of the whipped creams out as well, so that's one of the problems that we need to face, settle, at least. Okay, make sure we cover all the popcorn kernels. Oh, we missed out on one. 
Oh, dang, that's a bummer. Okay, so let's destroy it and of course uh, get rid of some of the whipped creams as well. There's one gigantic whipped cream at the top, so let's not forget about that one. Okay, and let's just get rid of it with a skill and we are good! Once again, clearing the level with just the exact amount of moves you know, provided. Oh, that's okay. Alright. Okay, Togepi, you're up next. So yeah, like I was saying, hopefully you guys are doing fine in your own country. Uh, if it's snowing in your site, please do take care, especially if you do need to drive on the road. You know, with all the skidding and all that kind of stuff. Gotta be very careful, especially uh, now that, you know, weather is pretty horrible around the world. Uh, and of course, don't forget to stay safe, because we are still living through a pandemic. Oh, it's gonna change all of them to Togepi's. Ah, oh, completely forgot about the requirement of weasel icons. Oh well. There we go, let's destroy the whole bunch of chestnut and tomato bottles. There we go, we needed the weasels. So let's clear the weasel requirement. Uh, let's go, let's go. Okay, so it's still short of a few, but that's okay. Let's gather a bit more toga pee so we can get more weasel icons out. There we go. Okay, let's clear the weasels first. Don't want to use toga pee skill and end up messing things up. Of course, the megaphone to destroy the last chestnut. So we could have ended a lot faster, but you know we didn't um, change a, a lot more icons to weasels um, than required. But that's okay. That's okay. Moving along pretty nicely, except for that one particular stage that was pretty difficult. All right, so let's go. Almost at the end, guys. Almost at the end. I know, uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix can be a bit of a boring video, but you know, it's still it's still a fun game to play. And I like I like the interaction with you guys, if you guys ever, you know, need uh, help specifically for this game. But you know, that's what my videos are for, so we don't really talk a lot <laughs> in the comment section. Uh, but that's okay, it's okay. At least there are some of you guys who are watching the videos, so I'm sure there are some of you who are actually playing the game with me. Um, so that's all fun. Alright, let's gather all the vegetable crates. Okay, there are a lot of Pikachu icons, so let's make use of Pika Pika. You know, and of course, I'm coating the olives. Uh, olives oils. Uh, just when I uncoated you, you had to coat yourself back. Oh well. Okay, so let's get the vegetable crates first. We are lacking in the veggie department. Alright. Let's uncoat the olive. There we go. Can we push you up so we can de destroy some of the vegetables as well? And we are just short of one veggie, so let's just get a few icons and slide up there. Alright, done! Not a difficult stage. Just pace yourself well. And of course, don't don't get yourself too too wrapped up in olive oil. It can be a very annoying thing. Alright, another round with friendship bonus. Okay. Oh, at least Minum is not fully powered up, so this friendship bonus is at least going to be beneficial in the long run you know having them leveled up is going to help us out so we can have their skills you know held longer okay so this one you really have to be careful about the vegetable or rather the strawberry crates um we do need um barley skill as soon as possible so we can get rid of the cans here there we go and make room for more icons. Alright, so nice of the megaphones to help us out, you know, with the destruction of the strawberry boxes. Okay. 
Alright, let's get rid of the cans. There we go. The cans are more important than the vegetable, I mean the strawberry crates, because um, basically we can just wrap the icons around the veg I mean the strawberry boxes and we should be fine. You know. Okay. There we go. So let's destroy the fruit cans. Alright, we got a bit of help with the megaphone. Alright, let's wrap things around. There we go. And this should settle our destruction criteria. Our only problem is the megaphones. And there we go, all four megaphones done with one skill. Fantastic. So, easily cleared, very fun level, awesome friendship bonus attain. Alright, and I think we're on the, yeah, we're on the last level. So let's open up the gift. And let's head into the very last level. If only the friendship bonus was on this one, we could have gotten 6 star for Buizo. That's all good. Don't, let's not get too fussy. Be grateful for what we have. Okay, so let's go. Let's see. Wow, the icons seem to be very evenly distributed, so let's just go with the main Pokemon. Alright, let's set free the icons. Okay, we do have egg baskets to be wary of. Alright, let's get these things mixed up. Okay, let's destroy a few popcorn kernels, giving us space for more icons. As always, the main important key, and of course let's set free the last milk piece. Okay. Alright, so we do need to start mixing things around. Hopefully some of the items do get mixed up. Okay. The problem here is the popcorn kernels. Hmm. Alright, lots of Meowth icons, so let's go ahead and set free the last few popcorn stuff. Okay. Alright, so let's try to get the mix. Yeah, there we go. So, main thing was to get the milk stuff mixed up. Okay. Okay, so we do need the score, so let's go ahead with the Jigglypuff since there are so many of them around. Score is done, so all we have to do is the popcorn and we are good. Fantastic, so it can be a bit of a tricky level. So as long as you do things systematically, um, of course the main idea is still definitely to get more items destroyed so you have more space for you know icons to appear and then you can get more of your Pokemon skill to appear or that kind of stuff. So win-win situation if you plan things out well. And you should be fine. Anyway, guys, that's it for another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys enjoyed yourself um, hearing me suffer with my flu, <laughs> leave a like on this video. Or if you just plainly enjoyed having a casual fun time with me on the channel with Pokemon Cafe Mix, as always, let me know in the comments or leave a like on this video. If you guys are brand new to the channel and want to see more Pokemon Cafe Mix as well, including all the other content that I usually put up, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course ring that bell notification icon so you don't miss any videos that I do release, especially if you guys are my cross fans or just want to watch me weave out with my unboxing stuff. And I do need to get back onto the Nonary games, it's been a while, you know, ever since the new year, the year end, and with the flu going on, it's been really hard to try and focus to do a video for the Nonary games, but I promise you, I've not forgotten about it, we will get back to it soon enough. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!